I, I just want to emphasize that we are actually building a new product. We are actually designing a new product. Uh, we're not sitting on our hands here. Um, so uh, th there are two new products that I think you will be very excited about. Tesla recently decided to announce the latest three models that can be said to have caused a stir in the public about low-cost products. Among them is the arrival of two Model X and S variants with the standard range version only priced at $10,000 US dollars less than the current version before Tesla offered an insane discount on these two prototypes. At the same time, the Model 2 production process shows confidence that the sub $25,000 price tag represents a giant leap in the cost-cutting process of creating a universal electric vehicle for the world. How do Tesla's new designs bring about breakthroughs? Join us to find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. But first, please show your support by subscribing and sharing this video to your friends who are also big fans of Tesla. Now, let's get started. A new option for those who want to join Tesla's large network with a brand new car, but only with a lower budget, at least about $25,000 US dollars, the Model 2 is at the top of Tesla's production list. Besides these affordable variants have appeared before, but they have finally disappeared. Until now, they have reappeared. This can be considered an attractive deal for those who can't afford the extra $10,000 and can still own one of the new variants of the Model S and Model X they love. Some small changes to the old prototype make it a new, more affordable variant, and there are probably some differences that we'll look at to find out. 1. Model 2 Elon Musk revealed that the wallet-friendly Model 2 will be produced and launched to serve customers who want to buy electric vehicles under the price of 25 grand. This will be the first design in the hatchback segment to be launched to compete directly with electric vehicle manufacturers in particular and the entire automotive industry globally. For the Model 2 made in the US, electric vehicle buyers can receive a tax credit of up to $7,500 so you'll be able to own the vehicle for a price between $17,500 and $22,500. Reducing some of the range and spec criteria present on this device could save us an additional $2,000 if the Model 2 prototype meets it. So, let's learn about the design that Tesla will add to this model to bring about the possibility of cutting the production costs of these unexpected products. Comparing the design with rival hatchback models, the Chevy Bolt EV is one of the hatchback models sold since 2017. So far, its price has dropped to a minimum of 27 thou. The same goes for the Volkswagen ID3 that has a minimum price of 34 grand, while the MG4 has a minimum price of 38,000. Therefore, the appearance of Model 2 with an auction price of 25 grand with tax credits will be a good start to compete with all electric car models in the same segment on the market. To receive the $7,500 tax credit, the Tesla Model 2's range must be greater than 250 miles. We can expect the compact EV to have a top speed of at least 125 miles an hour, with a 0-60 to 60 time of maybe 6 seconds to possibly 4 seconds on the variant strongest. Tesla's goal is to significantly reduce the use of rare materials in car parts and increase their efficiency. Tesla has announced that their next transmission will use 75% silicon carbide without compromising efficiency. How would battery technology change? The Model 2 will be built on the Model 3 chassis, which is a hatchback, so its wheelbase will also be relatively short and comparable to models like the Chevy Bolt. However, Tesla seems likely to provide the Model 2 with a long-life battery made from iron to cut down on the use of cobalt found in older batteries which is lithium iron phosphate, or LFP. With a longer lifespan and lower manufacturing costs, LFP will be the most important part of this affordable Model 2. I, I, I see us sort of like consolidating around a 4680 uh, nickel-based structural pack and uh, for, for long-range vehicles, and then uh, not necessarily a, a 4680 format, but some other format uh, for uh, iron base sales. At the end of the Q2 2021 earnings conference call, Musk hinted that the company may not use the 4680 format for LFP batteries. 
Compared to the Model 3, the Cattle 55 kilowatt per hour LFP battery pack has a range of up to 272 miles. We have to spend a minimum of 30 grand to own the with rear wheel drive. The high level of quality that Tesla wants to bring to an affordable car is also a big challenge. Tesla Chief Financial Officer Zachary Kirkhorn said that LFP battery cells will keep battery costs low and that Tesla can do more. Because it owns a worldwide factory system, it's possible to produce large quantities to meet production cost targets. In early 2023, Cattle planned to mass produce and distribute batteries based on a new material technology, M3P batteries, which will perform better and cost less than nickel and cobalt. The M3P battery has a great energy density of 15% and outperforms even an LFP. It can enable an electric vehicle to travel 430 miles per charge when combined with Cattle's next generation batteries. This will help reduce production costs in China, while the capacity that the Model 2 achieves is still at its best. However, with the current conditions when some problems are encountered in the shortage of battery materials, Tesla may still use a 53 kilowatt hour LFP battery pack for Model 2. The Model 2's potential rival, the Renault 5, will have a range of 249 miles in Europe's WLTP test cycle, and Volkswagen and Stellantis have similar expectations for future compact hatchbacks. Therefore, the Model 2's travel range will definitely reach over 250 miles to maintain its competitive position. A single motor configuration powering the rear wheels will be offered first and all-wheel drive variants will follow later. What basic features does Model 2 have? Tesla will likely provide the Model 2 with the full autopilot self-driving features, only at a low price, the self-driving feature that the company is confident about for many audiences. As for the interior, you can expect enough space for five people and almost every function is controlled via the same 15.4-inch landscape-oriented touchscreen found in the Model 3 and Model Y. The compact appearance will attract customers who want to own a Tesla but can't afford to buy it. At the end of 2022, Tesla brought entertainment games to Model S, and when sitting in a Tesla, your beloved grandchild will have a wonderful time of entertainment. Surely, this will also happen to the Model 2 because the software system is constantly updated. Where will the Model 2 be manufactured? Gigafactory Mexico is where the first Model 2 production will be concentrated to serve demand in North America, which is the first place the models can receive tax credit incentives. The low-cost car that Tesla wants to produce at the factory will have a completely new production line and completion could take 12 months, so the Model 2 launch date is likely to be at the end of 2024. In Europe, Tesla's cheapest model could be made at a new factory in Spain because it has a lower production cost than Germany. Similarly, the Volkswagen Group has produced electric vehicles with segments in Spain. For the Chinese market, Tesla's goal is to achieve a 100% localization rate here due to the abundant battery supply from battery manufacturer cattle. When will the Tesla Model 2 be released? Tesla Model 2 could launch at a special product event in 2023. However, the market launch may not take place before 2025. Tesla's compact electric car will record double the revenue Model 3 and Model Y midsize electric vehicle sales combined are 42 million units. That seems like an ambitious goal for just one model, especially for a company that only sells about a million of all its models combined annually. It was also reported that Tesla has resumed work on the Model 2 after a pause to focus on its priority models. The official launch date of the Model 2 will be much closer to the time of production than the previous launches of the Model 3 and Model Y to avoid the Osborne effect, a social phenomenon of customers canceling or postponing orders for current, soon-to-be obsolete products as an unwanted drawback of a company announcing future products too early. So are you looking forward to being able to own this car? Please leave your opinion in the comments section below. While you may not be able to get tax incentives on models made in China, Tesla's done a lot to offer many cost-savings benefits. To demonstrate the cost-cutting goal of future new models, Model 2 will lead the way. Besides, the appearance of two variant Model X and S with significantly reduced prices compared to the original prototype. 2. Model S and X According to the latest information we updated, 
During the implementation of Model 3 Highland, Tesla also updated its two leading models, Model S and Model X. We've seen the craziest price cut in a while, with the Model S long range now starting at 74.9, down 15% from its MSRP of 88.4. The Model S Plaid, the fastest car in Tesla's lineup, is currently priced at just $89,990. As for the model of the Model X Plaid, that has the same price as the Model S Plaid at $89,990, 17% off its original price of $108,490. It's noteworthy that with this update, Tesla has made all paint color options for the Model S and Model X available for free. This means that even premium colors like Ultra Red no longer come at any extra cost. Such a change will likely encourage customers to choose the more eye-catching colors of the two cars, which are considered more worthy of the top positions of the Model S and Model X with users for other car manufacturers in the same segment. However, before that, Tesla seems to have revealed a plan that they probably didn't want to tell us about adding a more affordable option to the Model S and Model X. The Model S was the first sedan in the Tesla family, launched more than a decade ago, and it delivered an incredible performance, a high-tech luxury cabin and outstanding refinement. So far, the Model S has undergone major changes and has seen many alternatives in direct competition from many electric vehicle brands around the world. It has eliminated the grill that ICE cars have with a delicate glossy front end. The car's interior may have surprised us thanks to the giant 17-inch touchscreen inside the cabin which is the control center for many functions of the Model S. The Model S's trunk space is very large due to the convenient hatchback-style trunk lid with a total space of 793 liters for both front and rear trunks. Tesla recently launched two new variants of Model S and X on the official website. That is the standard range version also uses the same battery cells of the prototype 100 kilowatt hour. However, it has been limited in range by software. This can be clearly seen when visiting Tesla's official website and searching for these two models. For the Model S, range has been reduced to 320 miles from 405 on the old prototype, now that it's a long-range version. The dual-motor engine is used in both versions, but it seems that in this new standard version, the Model S is not equipped with an all-wheel drive system, which causes the car to lose 3.7 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 60, while the originally only takes 3.1 seconds. Same thing with the Model X, which is an SUV with Falcon wing doors that are hinged at the top and lifted up. It's equipped with the same 17-inch dashboard display as the Model S, and it also has a rear screen to increase entertainment for rear seat passengers on long trips. They are also equipped with enhanced sound systems. At one point, Elon Musk contemplated stopping production of these vehicles altogether, but instead, Tesla doubled down and enhanced every aspect of these flagship products. We have to admit that the fancy rear door mechanism is the highlight of the SUV segment. Elon Musk's main goal with Tesla is to get as many electric cars into the hands of consumers as possible, and so they are striving to make the cars as affordable as possible and continue to reduce prices to try to do so because these new standard cars are software limited. They're essentially the exact same cars as the long range cars, it's just limited in range. So Tesla could make another move in the future, which doesn't seem to benefit Tesla at all since it still costs them the same amount of money to produce the car and for consumers. The motivation with this software restriction strategy is usually that the charging of the battery pack to maximum capacity or draining the battery to zero can damage the battery over time, also takes longer to charge the last part of the battery when it is already in a high state of charge, such as charging from 5 to 25% is much faster than charging from 80 to 100%. And that's when Tesla's software limits the standard vehicle's capabilities. This approach also brings unexpected benefits, such as faster charging times for users and minimal battery degradation over the life of the vehicle. This strategic approach puts an even greater pressure on the competition. While Tesla's Model 3 and Y sales continue to skyrocket, Tesla will struggle to improve its aging Model S. And this drastic price cut brought the Model S and X down to their lowest prices in four years. Perhaps with this move, Tesla can gain some market share as consumers cross-shop with other brands in the burgeoning premium electric vehicle market, although we'd have to sacrifice some range in the process. One thing that's consistent with Tesla's plans to build a new commercial program 
they'll limit it to rentals or will have to pay a specific additional fee to open the limit completely. This makes us think about how iPhones work. It's divided into two versions, Carrier Limited and Global Version, a detail that is said to be quite relevant to this plan. According to job postings, Tesla is planning to enter the rental industry in Texas. The details in this job description paint a picture that Tesla is aiming to launch a leasing program. Possibly two models will be on their list. What do you think about Elon's plan? And what kind of impression does the new design of these affordable cars leave on you? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments section down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by smacking that like button, subscribing, and spreading the word. And smacking that bell icon to get notified of more exciting episodes. Thanks so much. Until next time, stay safe and God bless.